Hello, my name is Megan Winkler and I'm a fifth grade teacher at William Winchester Elementary School. In this lesson, we will be multiplying decimals by decimals using a model and an open array. Let's review. We usually use base 10 pieces to represent this as 100, a long as 10, and a unit as 1. However, when we are multiplying with decimals, we are going to say that the flat represents a whole which then can be broken into 10 equal pieces. So a long is really 1 tenth, and if it's broken into 100 equal pieces, our unit would have the value of 100. We're going to explore the problem 2 and 3 tenths times 1 and 4 tenths. When I read this, I think of making 2 and 3 tenths groups of 1 and 4 tenths, or I'm going to make 1 and 4 tenths, 2 and 3 tenths of a time. And that's what I'm going to model for you. So I'm going to represent 1 whole and 4 tenths. So I'm going to have 1 whole and 4 tenths. I'm going to do this 2 whole times. So there was my 1 time. And I'm just going to repeat to show a second whole time. Now the problem says 2 and 3 tenths. So I'm going to need to make three-tenths of a group. In order to do so, I'm thinking, what is three-tenths of a whole? And I know that to be three-tenths. And now I need to find three-tenths of my four-tenths, which is twelve-hundredths. I want to relate this to an open array model. So I'm going to take the same problem. And I'm going to write 2 and 3 tenths in expanded form. So I would have 2 wholes and 3 tenths. I would also have 1 whole and 4 tenths. So when I multiply 2 wholes, by one whole, I would get two wholes. You can see that in my model because I have two whole flats. If we look at the standard algorithm, you can see that the two wholes is represented there. Next, I'm going to multiply two wholes by four tenths. Two wholes times four tenths gets me eight tenths. When we look at our model, we can see that I have the four tenths and the four tenths to get the eight tenths total. In the standard algorithm, it says nine, but that's because I already regrouped. I'm going to then multiply three tenths by one whole, which equals three tenths. When I look back at my model, you can see that I have the three tenths represented below. In the standard algorithm, there's that three tenths again. Last, I'm going to multiply three tenths by four tenths, which equals twelve hundredths. Going back to my model, you can see there's my twelve hundredths, as well as my twelve hundredths is represented here in my standard algorithm. To complete my open array, I'm going to simply add together my four smaller products. Remember, when we add decimals, we always want to line up our decimal points. That helps keep our places in order. And I'm going to add zeros to represent that there is nothing in the hundredths place for those three numbers. And again, you'll see our final product is 3 and 22 hundredths, which is also seen in our standard algorithm and is represented in our model. So I hope you've learned how to multiply decimals by decimals using a model and an array.